Good morning, friends. So, uh, welcome to National Pink Day. So, as you can see, I'm wearing a lovely pink shirt. And I do have a pink flower in my hair, but I was also blasting pink loudly in my office waiting for time to go live. Um, what a great way to get the party started. No pun intended there, right? Uh, so, I've got my channel on my phone, so if something shows up there that um, doesn't show up on my screen, I can try and keep track. Um, I, wow, it, it's nuts over here. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> and it was probably nuts at your house too, because that's just what summer is. It's it's hot and it's, and it's supposed to be relaxing, but it ends up being pretty busy, doesn't it? Um, next week, I hope to be able to give you a little tour of what I've been up to in my office. This week, I'm going to control and make sure you see nothing more than this part of my office. And even it is a little, not quite what I'd like it to be yet, but we're getting there. Um, Greg says if I lug his scooter upstairs, that he will actually help me with one of the big tasks I have in the next few days. And um, so that's, I will take him up on that. Um, and that, when I'm able to give you a tour and show you some more photos, that'll make sense. Um, so today is National Pink Day. Um, I'm going to share with you um, some a card design from the Hues of Happiness or the Happiness Abounds Suite. No, Hues of Happiness Suite, Happiness Abounds stamp set. That is the featured suite for my card club that meets on Saturday. And um, normally, yeah, it's a little different this month, but next month um, I am featuring He's the Man because He's the Man, that's more than Father's Day. We need masculine birthday cards and just, uh, it was one of the first things I used from the new catalog when Greg had his accident and I made him a card of encouragement with it. So. We're going to tear that suite up next month in Card Club, and you can take that, you can participate in that class, whether you take just the June, July class, or you sign up and subscribe. And it's pretty exciting that subscription has now been available for six months, and I have some lovely people that are going to get $25 of swag in their kit this month because they have been participating for the last six consecutive months and they subscribe. So it's easy to do and there will be links and everything once the blog is posted later today. So if you subscribe to YouTube and amazingly, I've had a ton of new subscribers. I now am up to 140, which is a little wow and scary at the same time. So, um, but the blog link will be posted in the comments of the YouTube video. And if you subscribe to my blog post, you'll actually get an email. So um, lots of ways to stay informed. And I can't look at my face or this flower any longer. So I'm going to turn the ca switch cameras and see if I can't show you. Um, we'll get started. I'm tired of talking too. But I need some more light over here, I'm afraid. Um, I am using the new grid paper today, and guess what? It's pink! So I'm using the Sweet Sorbet. This is in color paper, grid paper, and you can get this too, whether you're a demonstrator or not. Um, and, and it's lovely. Now, I usually struggle with um, contrast, um, and that's why I use the, the color blocked um, cards, uh, grid paper that you're more used to seeing here. But my, <laughs> in my reorganization. I haven't found it yet. So I knew where this was, so I grabbed it. All right. Um, this is the card that we are casing today. Um, this card was shared in um, a swap that I participated in when we went to Utah um, the 1st of June. And um, this was made by um, Constanza. Now, Constanza is a German demonstrator, and she came to Utah and participated with us in that massively fun event. And so we're going to case this today, and we're going to do it in several colors. So I'm going to set that there. Um, 
And just since these are here, I'm going to show you these because Joyce asked if I was going to use pink cardstock today. And um, I'm not doing it today, but we are using it on Saturday. So this is one of our designs for the June um, Card Club. And this is using the Blushing Bride color, the Designer Series paper, and the Pretty Flowers embossing folder. Then we have a Pool Party color and you'll notice we're using those bright and fun glossy dots that coordinate with this um, designer series paper with this suite um, I cased this card as well um, and I love this because it kind of looks like it's floating a little bit and um, so here's a version you can make these all of these cards can be made in so many different colors and then this is the final card that I'm making now the hues of happiness dies are on back order which means that the and I said back order is misleading you can't order them right now they'll come back in stock um, the week of July 4th so pretty close and that's why I went ahead and and stuck with what I had planned for today all right so this card um, now Constanza did this all in one layer which is amazing I love one layer cards but they also terrify me because it means I got one chance to get it right um, and and I'm casing it so I'm going to change it up just a little bit right um, so we're going to start with a thick white base and I'm forgetting to tell you something already um, all right so I needed sympathy cards and that's where we're headed today um, we're going to make some some thinking of you some sympathy cards um, now this is a card that is going to open I call this tall or portrait so I'm going to score first at five and a half and then I'm going to turn my paper and cut it at four and a quarter so the trimmer has two blades remember one that scores it which means it creates that fold line which you can kind of see right there and the other cuts it and now I have two card bases to work with and I've got lots of um, I need more than that so we're gonna go ahead and make a second one now you could still make a portrait card and score your cardstock and cut it so that it opens more like a book mine is gonna open this way um, and and actually I'm trying to remember what we made one of the cards I made last week anyway um, or maybe that's uh, I, they all run together after a while all right so that's four card bases made I've already cut a, a layer because I decided I didn't want to do this in one one layer so I think I'm good there um, I need to grab my let's see are you I'm going to grab my seafoam blend, but I want to talk about, hmm, I didn't prepare for that, so we may, we may be stuck. All right, so in um, preparing for today and testing the waters, I discovered that my stamp, and it could be my ink pad needs to be re-inked, is not stamping real cleanly now this stamp is from the peaceful moments stamp set and it's been around a little bit it's not brand new but it has these wonderful greetings in it um it, it has everything in it so i thought i'd work with probably thinking of you with all my heart and with deepest sympathy today um and you know sympathy cards and thinking of you it's they're necessary um, this is from quiet meadow and it also has this I love this heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you or thinking of you so I pulled that out and I also pulled out color and contour because I thought I like this here for you now and in better days ahead um, the, these are none of these are brand new okay they are in the annual catalog but they are not brand new they are current go to greetings is is brand new and this is awesome because if you'll notice it has happy birthday in a big script and then in a medium-sized script 
and then in a small script. This was designed by a million dollar seller and it's awesome. It's also got thinking of you in a large script, in a medium script, and then in a small script. So um, just a note is also featured one, two, three times. And then we have a small hello. So absolutely go to greetings. Um, and then lastly, this is the stamp set that is part of the suite we're working with today. Um, and it doesn't have any sympathy with it, but it has all these beautiful florals and that's why I picked it. All right. So I started to tell you, so my stamp set, my stamp didn't stamp really cleanly when I started. So I've decided that we're going to use the Stamparatus with this. So I'm going to pull out with deepest sympathy. And one thing I noticed about Constanza's card is I tend to put the greeting down lower and farther to the right. And I really love that she did hers closer. So we're going to not stamp the greeting first. We're actually going to do it after we get the other elements in place so that we can decide and get ours placed in tight like she did here. All right. So I'm going to set that there for a second. And we're going to set up the stage for our, um, our card. So I am starting with the soft seafoam um, ink, ink pad and the um, blending brush, which I've been using quite a bit recently. You might, you might recall we did a masking class with these. Um, gosh, I'm going to say June. They've all run together. Um, and I'm just lightly, this is a light color, but I'm also adding color lightly to it. So I'm just picking up color from my ink pad. Then I start it on my mat, my grid paper to get some color off of it so that it doesn't come in harsh. And I don't, you, yeah, you probably can't see this at all. When I take photos, it just looks kind of dirty um, when I'm holding it up. But the photos, you should be able to see that color more cleanly. Now, the other thing I'm going to do before I add my flowers is bring in my Stampin' Blend and add some splatters. And I love splatters. I'm going to add a bunch and then I'm going to show hold it up and show you. So I used the brush end of my Stampin' Blend. Remember, these are our alcohol markers and they have a blunt end, you know, more like a marker. And then they have a paintbrush end um, for your coloring. The paintbrush end is rather fragile, uh, so I use it sparingly. Um, but it does let me create these splatters that you can see. I had another thought and that is I've got a wink of Stella that is running really low on Stella. And I thought about adding some reinker to that and a little water and adding Stella splatters to it, but I didn't get that far in my work today. So we'll have to save that for another day. So help me remember that. Now, um, in last week's class, I painted this stamp. So this is the image that we're working with today. Um, here it is cut from the designer series paper. And here's the one that I colored in my class last week with, um, oh, I believe I used orchid. Oh my gosh. How did I forget that? Um, orchid oasis. But anyway, it's the same image that, uh, is awesome. It cuts out the stamped image and it cuts out the the die cut, uh, cuts out the image from the designer series paper. So that's, that's really cool. So I, um, I pulled this out because I had it handy, but that's not what we're going to work with. We are going to work with the images from the designer series paper, and I've already cut a bunch of them out and we're going to set that up and then we're going to pull out the stamparatus and Stamp it. Stamp the greeting. 
my watch is letting me know that I am not moving. And the people that are trying to watch me appreciate that I'm not moving because it's not making them dizzy. All right, and we're going to add some dimensionals to this. And I'm going to kind of keep them towards the center because I want to slide the leaves underneath. And I do that after I put my flower in place. And I'm going to do that just like so. And then my leaves, I'm going to add with glue. And just slide them in there. So I've kind of, kind of created an arc here with the design. And then we're going to put the greeting right about there. All right, so it's time to get the Stamparatus out. Lovely pink flowers. I'll show you in a second how many there are, of how many colors there are to choose from. Uh, and we'll make we'll make a few. All right, so I've got my. This is a red rubber stamp, so I don't need the foam mat. I just need my grid paper, and this is also available for sale uh, in the catalog. And I'm going to, no I need to think about this. Um, I want to be able to place my, my card. I'm using this corner here as my guide. And then I want my greeting to be, I think like so. You know, keep it in pretty close. And now we need to see if we've got it lined up straight. So I'm going to slide a stamp case underneath. And let's get this back in. Okay. And I'm going to ink this up in Old Olive. Old Olive is kind of my go-to color, which is probably why it needs to be re-inked. Ink up my stamp. I'm going to push this down into the corner. I don't need a magnet for this. But I'll use my grid to see, holy cow, that's really off. So I'm going to clean it with a chamois. And this is just a piece of a chamois. For using the Stamparatus, um, using a piece is easier. So I have one chamois that I've cut into four pieces for that. And I am going to shift this a little bit and see if I can do better because I didn't do this the first time. Let's see if I'm lined up any better when I do that. Sometimes I switch colors when I'm doing this or I might switch the grid paper over. Um, I will see how this works and if we need to go to such drastic measures. Or I can turn my grid paper a different way. I have lots of options. It's all about options, isn't it? Okay, that really didn't... Um, I kind of just moved it up but kept, kept the same um, slant. That's not good. All right, we're going to rotate this this way. And, okay, so I put my contacts in today. And I haven't been wearing them because somewhere in this reorganization are my cheaters but I don't know where. So I bought Greg's readers upstairs, which, and I'm just gonna frankly own this, um, later today when I'm downstairs and I need them, I won't remember that these are upstairs because my rule is I leave these downstairs and that mine stay upstairs. Um, okay, so the Stamparatus plate has a grid to it. And you, yeah, you can kind of see it over here. So I am going to line up the bottom of my word with that and see if I can get better results this time. 
there's not an exact science to this and it doesn't have to be perfect right right it does not have to be perfect say that three times give yourself grace you the most important thing is that you are sending a message to your friend and letting them know that you are so sorry for their loss that they are in your heart maybe they're in your prayers and okay so look how much better that is we can still argue that it's not perfect but i just told you it doesn't have to be now remember oh but see i've turned my paper so is this still the right place hmm all right how do we how do we do that um there are lots of ways that you can do this i am going to this is handy so i'm going to see if this will serve the purpose because even if i cleaned my stamp it would still probably leave oh i think that's going to be fine okay so this corner still good now i am going to grab a magnet this time even though it's probably overkill because the whole purpose for using the Stamparatus on this card was because I wanted to be able to stamp the image multiple times if my stamp didn't stamp cleanly the first time. Does that make sense? Of course, the other option is to re-ink the ink pad, and I didn't do that. And that's still, that's, hey, Lori, um, that's pretty good, but I'm going to do it one more time just for giggles. The other great thing is now I know where this goes. I can pretty quickly, well, except that my flowers are not in the perfect spot every time, right? That's going to be a judgment call. But look how lovely that is. And... The other cool thing, I love to put this layer up on dimensionals. Um, I think it just adds an extra little polish to it. So let's go ahead and finish this one card completely. And then we can, um, we can do another. Okay, here's my, my sample. Remember, cardstock has two sides. That's the beauty of it. And I cut this, I'll put the dimensionals, remember everything will be on my um, blog post. So I'll have the list of supplies as well as the dimensions in the card recipe. And I have now started um, putting a, a version of the card recipe that like, looks like a photo, but you might not want to print that. So I've also included one without all the background color that you can print if you would like. Now, I think that I like Constanza used um, pearls with this. So let's see what I've got handy over here in my little stash of embellishments. Um, I thought I would have some pearls pretty close because I've been working with them. There we, there we go. Okay, iridescent pearls. So the iridescent pearls are new in the catalog, in the new annual catalog. I keep having to specify the new annual catalog because we already have the holiday catalog in our hands, if you can believe it. So if you are a demonstrator, you can order from it. Um, if you decide you'd like to be a demonstrator, you can order from those products in your starter kit, which is phenomenal. Um, so I think this is, is just lovely. So here's Constanza's card, and here is, um, is my card. Um, this Hey There, I meant to see if I could figure out where she pulled that, that greeting from, but I, I, I failed. It wasn't where I thought it was. Um, so let's do let's do another one in a different color scheme because 
Um, let me just show you all the colors that I pulled out. So I have this lighter pink. I have this um, pool party, I think. Uh, I have a, we're going to say that that's probably Highland Heather, closest till. I've got a daffodil delight or so I think it's daffodil delight you know I could just look on the back of the um, designer series paper and see what colors coordinate but I pulled out those colors that's just from the designer series paper um, and don't forget there's this lovely deep blue that Constanza used so I've got I got lots of play in that I can do of course I won't you know they're all going to be relatively the same so I don't expect you to hang around for all of that and I won't be on the video for all of that but I wanted to show you anybody got a choice in color that you would like to do next so if you're watching I'll give you a second to give me a color um, while I go ahead and do the set the stage if you will and create that background try to find something to wipe my nose with because there's some rule that every time you are in front of somebody your nose has to run right um, I'll pause and get a drink did you notice my mug guys you can get these these stainless um, tumblers in all the new in colors and I'm here to tell you they work amazingly I had ice in what well, I don't typically drink drinks with ice but I had one last Saturday night and I um, got up Sunday morning and it still had ice in it so um, I'll post that in the supply list as well um, my color is um, Orchid Oasis but of course you can get any of the five new in colors they're all gorgeous I'm trying to justify getting another color I might have to accidentally order one. I don't know. Uh, the kits are still on sale. Buy one, get one free. Um, thank you all for those who took advantage of the free shipping on Tuesday and selected me as your demonstrator. I am getting close to a few, few milestones. Next, thurs next Thursday, the 30th, we'll, I will celebrate six years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, I'm also going to give a preview of a Christmas product because we start Christmas card classes in July. And why do we do that? Because I have a number of friends and um, customers, demonstrators on my team that send a lot of cards. So we start early so that we have six months where we make okay that's got too much on it we're gonna flip it over and start again I wasn't paying attention oh and I'm using old olive ah that's why I meant to be using soft sea foam okay so I got a lot of green in this blending brush and I don't have time to clean it really well so I'm gonna switch and pull out another blending brush and then I will clean it afterwards so I've grabbed one that it, you would even argue that this looks pink, but it will not transfer the pink. It has been thoroughly cleaned. I wonder if that one's got old olive. We're going to do both of these again because I wasn't paying attention. That's what happens when you start talking. All right, Lori says that she'd like to see the yellow. Oh, she's got the same color. I think we talked about that on Tuesday, didn't we? Um, I really like all the colors the parakeet party is really calling to me oops and so you can see I'm not getting the pink on my card and this green is far more subtle than the old olive was which is the look I'm going for So what was I telling you? Okay, so um, the last chance list, the the mini catalog, the January to June catalog is retiring. I sent the last chance list in my newsletter that went out this week. 
um, and you can subscribe to that newsletter. It is separate from my blog. Um, so at michellesalcho.com, uh, you'll get a, well, and we're working on this news, this, um, my email, my, darn it, my website next week. So you, there may be some changes coming up, but right now there is a, a pop-up that asks you if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter and, um, and then on the blog page, there's an opportunity to sign up to get the blog emailed, blog post emailed to you. And right now those blog posts come once a week, uh, usually on Thursday afternoon. And I missed last week. Last week was, yeah. Okay. So I've got three done, almost three done now. This is my third. And I'm just going pretty softly. And the lighting in here gets a little distorted because early in the morning, I've got sun that is streaming through beside me. So I have to close that. And then it gets a little, I wanna see if this light, I found this light in my reorg yesterday. This was a light I used to use. If that's going to help or not. I don't want it to hit and fall and hit me in the head, however. I think it actually did do something, though. Anyway, um, I'm looking at my list. Okay, so I will have my BOGO coming up in um, July, early July. Um, then we'll stamp our greeting. And now that we've got our positioning straight, we can do this. Put you over there to get you cleaned. So this is the position of our card. And we're going to go ahead and stamp this greeting on all three of them. And let's see, we've been going about half an hour, so I'll probably, you may not see the full cards on the, the video, but they will be posted. All the colors that I pulled out, I will share in the blog post. And I may even do some that are stamping. I've had a couple of requests for cards, custom orders for cards, and I could include some of these in that as well. And of course you could add one of the die cuts um, or a stamped image to the inside of your cards as well and your envelopes. Um, I'm really trying harder to decorate the inside of my cards as well as my envelopes. And I think I've told you everything. So next month, the card club is going to feature the He's the Man uh, suite. And I should show you the displays I've done. For He's the Man and Happy Forest Friends. Okay. Let's set that out of the way. And Lori wanted to see yellow, so we will pull the yellow out first. And Something like that. And let this kind of tie in. So I am adhering the smaller yellow down flat. 
then adding the larger flower with dimensionals. And remember, keeping my dimensionals pretty close to the center so that I have room to slide the edge of the um, greenery into it. I'm kind of under it. And I don't want a dimensional to be in the way there. Okay, so there's one. So you can see how these would go pretty quickly. You know, set the stage and then um, move them on. All right, I am going to pull this purple color next. One of the things that I will be working on on my website next week is the tutorials. Um, I'm working on a method for um, adding the tutorials so that they can easily be purchased and um, transmitted via email quickly. Okay, and I kind of got that guy a little, oh, I think it's still okay. So like, if you liked the card designs that are in club, but it's too late to sign up for it, you can get the tutorial and then you'll have all of the dimensions and supplies that you need and can purchase, for, um, make up your own, whatever it is I'm trying to say. And the last one we'll finish off in pink because it is National Pink Day. And no, one dimensional would be fine for this flower. I just, if one is good, two is better, right? So even this greenery you can see is um, is cut from the designer series paper. So there you have it. I'll finish these up. Here's the one that we made together. And then these are the other two that I have. I'm trying to decide where to put them. Okay, I can put you over here, you right there, right there, and there. You can see all four of those colors, just just gorgeous. And okay, this is the wrong, that's the wrong blue. Those blues don't clash at all, but I might do some on shimmery white and um, and color them either with blends or with um, with ink and water. We'll see. I just don't know. I'm not willing to commit yet. It is early in the morning. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and a blessed weekend. Don't forget to wear your, your pink today. Um, doesn't have to be a flower. It could be anything, um, but I love pink. And um, so it was an excuse to pull out some pink and wear it. Um, look for these in my, on my blog later today, and I will add the blog link back to the, um, the YouTube description. So you can subscribe any one of those places and, um, and get that information. So the blog is always the most complete place, but, um, one can link you to the other. So have a great day, everybody. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.